you pressed your way to get here, and there is an attack on your life. I may not be talking to everybody, I might be just talking to three people, but Pastor Pierre, this morning when I woke up, I heard the Spirit of God say that Galatians tells us that the Spirit of God is love, joy, yes. peace. Yes. He said, repeat it, love, joy, peace. Okay, I started repeating, love, joy, peace. I said, okay, he said, love, joy, peace. He said, and that's those, those three areas, that's where the enemy attacks you the most. Yes. Yes. It starts with your love. It yes. starts with your heart. Yes. And so he tries to tear apart your heart yes. with somebody who doesn't love you the right way. Yes. Am I talking to anybody yes. here? He tries to conflict you and confuse you. It's either your family or your friends, but when you love somebody, you give them everything. So the enemy will start at your heart because he wants to stop you from loving. That's the attack. That's where he starts the attack. He'll start with your love life. He'll start with your love language. He'll start with the places that you love because he knows if, he can, if I can distract her from the thing that she loves, then I can stop her from worshiping. But there's some of us that left our problems at the door and we said, even though we love you, we're not going to give our time to you right now because we love God more than we love the thing that the enemy's trying to use against us. You know, it's not those that you don't love that distract you. Distraction can only come from those that you really care about. Do I have any witnesses here? So the enemy starts with love because he thinks if he can get love, get love out of the way, then he can distract you. But then he tries to mess up your joy because the Bible says that the joy of the Lord is your strength. So if he can always make you sad, then he weakens your praise. But I want to know, are there any people that know Jesus, that he's giving you the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Somebody open your mouth and make the devil out of a liar. You tried to take my joy, but I'm going to bless the Lord. I can't hear y'all in this room. Somebody make the enemy mad and give God a praise. Shut up my soul. You came to attack my love, and that got me for a second, but then you came to steal my joy. And the joy of the Lord is your strength, so when he's trying to weaken you, he tries to take your smile away. Because your smile is what attracts people to God. I don't hear y'all. I don't hear y'all in here. It's your joy that makes people say, I want to come to church. It's your joy that makes people say, can you pray for me? So, if you're just as sad as I'm sad, then why would I trust the God that you believe in? So the enemy is after your joy. Because if he gets your joy, he can steal your witness. You haven't been laughing in a long time. You come to church, but you're not as happy as you used to be. And he's taking your joy because he wants to ruin your witness. But if you get a revelation of what he's doing, you'll smile anyway. You'll laugh anyway. I may be sick, but I'm still going to smile. Because the God that I love is too great for me to distract you from him. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. And then he attacks your peace. Anybody had their peace disturbed? Unexpected bills out of nowhere. A knife in the back. Anybody know what I'm talking about? If he can mess up your peace, then he can distort your purpose. And so he told me this morning that the enemy's attack is clear, but I have an announcement to make. The attack is great, but the anointing is greater. Somebody say it, the attack is great, but the anointing is greater. I need you to ship out the name of the Lord right now. Open your mouth and let it ring out. Everybody hold it right there. Everybody open your mouth and give a praise. Give the Lord praise. Give the Lord praise. Give the Lord praise. There's a breakthrough in this praise. There's a breakthrough in this praise. But the anointing is greater. I did not come to preach, but I came to encourage you. Because he wants you to just come to church. But when it's just church, you never had church as usual. God always meets you in a different way. So he's attacking your love and your joy and your peace. But today we say, devil, you can't have any dominion in this room. We defend and decree that we're free. Come on, y'all. Jesus. I'm not just 
just speaking something over you. I'm speaking it to my life right now. Don't think that when you preach and when you lead worship, it's because you feel like it. Some days you gotta press your way into the presence of the Lord. And I don't want to press my way in front of people who need a cheerleader. I want to press my way in front of people that know God is able, that know God is a worker, that God is